Hey, hey, Battle Bay, this is Porthos, and I've got three videos for you today to teach you how to play the Shooter Boat in Battle Bay. Now, Shooter is the most popular boat in Battle Bay. It is also the most misplayed boat in Battle Bay as well. So many people play Shooter wrong and badly that I had to put this video out. And I've got three of my favorite shooters to teach you just how to play the Shooter right. The first one is Yellow Ocean. Now, Yellow Ocean is a beast on the waves. He's got a lot of heavy hitting cannons and triple torpedoes and missiles. Oh my, he's a terror when you're facing off against him. And if he can see you, you're gonna get a face full of damage. Now, the worst shooters in the game sit back at the very back and try and drop mortars on everybody. And that's just the worst way to play a shooter. It's not effective. Mortars are too easy to dodge from far away and you are basically screwed if anyone gets within 100 feet of you. The other thing I hate seeing a shooter do is when they rock mines and just sit back and build little minefield fortresses. It is entirely useless because no one is ever going to go through them. You might as well consider a career in Pokemon Go and just quit this game if you just like to build minefield fortresses in your shooter. You won't see a shooter anywhere in the top ranks doing that. You know why? Because it's the absolute worst way to play a shooter. Now, Yellow Ocean knows this. He's sitting over here, drawing his targets out, keeping them a little bit separated, and when they turn around that corner, he's hitting them hard with everything he's got, laying the missile launchers down on them and lighting them up with some heavy hitting weapons. Oto is in serious trouble now. He's slowly getting away, but no, you can't escape the wrath of a sniper cannon, especially when it's being shot by Yellow Ocean. So why does Yellow have what he has? Well. He's got his missile launchers and his blast cannons specifically because they have a high arc on them. See, they can arc over the waves and hit targets when they can't hit you or they think they're safe. And he's got his rail gun and his sniper cannons, which shoot very straight, but they hurt very much. So when he has a straight shot, a sure hit, he uses those weapons. And he is dangerous at range with the sniper and the rail gun, and he is dangerous up close with the blast cannon. And he's dangerous at mid-range and in groups with his triple torpedoes. And of course, triple torpedoes have the added bonus of going through shields, which is super handy. There's Jif, and in two shots, he is down with a sniper cannon crit. So here you see, Yellow Ocean is not just sitting in the back shooting lazily as if he has nothing else to do. He's getting his boat into position to where it needs to be, and he is laying down the firepower, which is what a shooter is built for. If you are playing Battle Bay, and you are playing a shooter, and you are not the top damage dealer on your team, you are playing shooter wrong. And maybe it's time to consider a different boat and a different play style. So, here is another battle from another amazing shooter, Satanas. He uses one of the most unique styles I've seen on a shooter. He loves his fire bombs. He lights his enemies on fire like crazy, and then destroys them with his sniper cannons. He, I don't know if he picked his name before he picked his weapons, or he picked his weapons before he picked his name, or what, but whatever it is, it's very appropriate. I hate fighting against him, because he just lights it up all the time. So you see here, he's using firebomb to just create panic on his enemies. These firebombs, they keep you burning for like 15 seconds, and during that time, you are a serious target, because any cannon shots that hit you get serious bonus damage. Look at the damage he's dealing right there. Holy smokes, there is nothing, nothing holy about that. It sucks to be the unfriend right now. There is so much fire going on, the game can't even practically keep up. Satanas keeping him distracted, using his mortars, but at the same time driving in and doing serious damage. He knows where to land them and how to hit them, and he knows when to bring himself in and when to stay away. I love this setup. It's really the only shooter I've ever seen to rock this, and it's really cool. I don't know why more shooters aren't doing this. If I had firebombs, it's definitely what I would be doing. It's just so much fun to light them on fire like this. So here he goes. That poor guy's got four burn damage on him right now. Five burn damage now on Le Rompe L2, whatever. He's sunk, it doesn't matter. Just one guy left, Oolong, and he's got 13 seconds of burning. He's got no chance. He's a dead man floating. 
and he is sunk by none other than sunk. Another amazing shooter, by the way, guys. So there he goes, another style. Satanas rocking the fire bombs and the fire damage combo. And for our third battle, we've got Punk. Punk is my absolute favorite shooter on the bay. He is amazing when it comes to shooting because he is so stinking accurate with his weapon. I love fleeting with this guy because he just hits so hard and he doesn't miss when he needs to. Punk is facing off against Blue Marlin, Eagle Bay, Deathblow, and Reborn X. Reborn is another shooter who uses a unique style. I don't know if it's as good as Satanasis, but it's definitely interesting. Reborn likes to use all napalms and a couple cannons to light the bay on fire, create tons of confusion, keep people from grouping up together, and he maximizes on that damage. But Punk, he does something a little different here. He's got his two sniper cannons for hitting from far away, getting those lucky crits, and he's very good at leading his shots. As you see, he just hit that speeder as he was running past with the sniper cannon. He's also got his railgun for heavy point damage, his exploding cannon for some serious damage when he needs to on a whole group. Boom, like that right there. He led his shot on Blue Marlin and hit him with an exploding cannon. And he's also rocking some missile launchers. Now missile launchers are amazing at shooting people, hitting them when they don't think they can be hit because you're behind a target or you're behind a wave. Anybody that's fought against the old Christmas knows just how powerful they are. New Christmas, not as good, but the old Christmas was really good with missile launchers. So you see, he is laying down some firepower here, using his shooter to do what it's meant to do, while the rest of his team is kind of just uh, floating around a bit taking advantage of some of the confusion he's creating and picking off the weak links. So let's see here, he's gonna be going in. You see, he's not just sitting from far away and shooting while the rest of his team does the damage. No, Punk is getting in there and doing some serious work here. All right, looks like Blue Marlin's a bit hard to hit. He's switching targets to go on this enforcer over here. And he drops a comet on him. He's, you see how he led his shot just a little bit right there? Now he's leading his shots there. Oh, that's what a missile launcher can do. And he follows it up with a serious hit from his rail gun. Oh, Eagle Bay is sunk with an exploding cannon. And did you see what he did there? He aimed his exploding cannon so it hit the wreck next to Eagle Bay and the splash damage took that guy down. That is experience. That is why I love Punk as a shooter. All right, it's just him facing off against one more little baby speeder here. Now, a shooter versus a speeder right now will lose almost every time if the speeder is any good. But there's a chance that Punk can get a window to get a shot off. And with how powerful his weapons are, well, all it's gonna take is one mistake. So let's see how he does it with Deathblow. He's looking for that guy, scanning the bay, looking around, saying, you gotta be here somewhere, little speeder. I am going to make you a banana split. Because the speeder's the banana split. He's searching, searching, looking for the speeder. Meanwhile, the speeder must be out trying to heal up, get some health, because he knows just how hard hitting Punk is. Now, if the speeder is smart, he will run away to the other side of the map and draw it out for the next two minutes. But no, looks like he was making a break for it and he's gonna try his luck. Punk drops that Tesla shield with the rail gunshot, says, no, you ain't Tesla shielded me. And he hits him again with a sniper cannon. Missed that shot, so close. All it's gonna take is one lucky crit on a sniper cannon or a nice shot with a missile launcher. He's gonna try and shoot over here, shoot blind, but hopefully get a shot it looks like. Trying to get, there he might be. Let's see if he got that shot. Didn't get the kill. But Punk knows how to play his boat. He's gonna head around the horn here. There's Deathblow dropping his Tesla shield again. Deathblow 99 points left. Punk was one more hit down as well. Deathblow's running away, but he doesn't make it. Punk leaves his shot and takes him down. There you go, three different shooters, three different styles, and three different ways to win the game if you are a shooter. Hope that helped. This has been Battle Bay with Porthos.